Hey, it's A back on your screen with another one. I hope you're well. As you can tell, we're adding to the Wine Fairy series today with this edition. What is more perfect than a Prosecco for the holiday season? I couldn't wrap a Vlogmas without doing at least one of these. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, tap the like and subscribe for more. So today we got the Bottega Prosecco. This is one of my favorites, although you can get Prosecco in so many different brands. This one is 16 bucks. I feel like it's the perfect price point if you want to pack it as part of a present or bring it to a holiday party. New Year's Eve is coming up. Christmas is this week. Wow, time is flying. It's crazy. I love me some Prosecco. When I used to work in the restaurant, we'd had bottles and bottles and bottles of this. Not this particular brand, but Prosecco in general. We had it in the cut for times like these, either holiday parties or when we messed up on a table, we brought it as a token of apology. So Prosecco is very multi-purpose. It's very agreeable. Almost everyone I know I loves it, but if you don't like sparkling wine, this is not gonna be for you. Prosecco and champagne are very similar but different. The biggest difference is that champagne comes from champagne. This comes from Italy. There's also a price point difference. If you notice when you go to the LCBO, this is around the $16 mark, whereas champagne can cost you a couple coins. So it's really up to you if you wanna go all out this holiday season, pop bottles, make it rain, or stay within your budget. I think they all taste the same, honestly. It's not like with other wines. For me, once you add carbonation, it's really hard to tell the difference anyway. It's just a matter of how dry you like it. This one's 15 grams, so it's dry, but not as dry as some of the Prosecco's. It's very fruity, floral, and light. So let's crack this open, or rather this time, pop it! I'm so excited. I'm the worst at finding the little twist. Do you like my little side swoop? I'm trying to give Aaliyah today. I feel like I've done this before in the Wine Angel series. It was a sparkling rosé in the summertime, I remember now. Okay, so boom. Bing bong, where is the twist? I can't see it. I can feel it though. Oh, here we go. Okay guys, you know what happened the last time. Let's not get scared this time. Are you ready? Because I'm not ready. Oh my gosh, guys. I can feel it. Every time. Right off the top, you can smell it. You can hear it. Giving you that ASMR goodness. Instantly get that light, fruity, yet floral scent. It's gonna taste about the same. I'm using my tulip glass. I only bring this up for special occasions. This is how you should serve a glass of bubbly. Just a little bit. One thing I love about this brand, because I bought it so many times before, I've given it as gifts, I've had it amongst friends, I brought it to the house party. It's not too carbonated. Sometimes I find Prosecco can be so carbonated you don't even enjoy it. This one is a good Goldilocks in between. So it's the exact same smell you're gonna get when you first pop it. There's not that much to it, unlike some other whites we reviewed. Mm, it's giving the kind of crisp zestiness of Sauvignon would. All right, let's sip. Cheers to 2022 being better. I was gonna say 2023. You see me, I already wanna rush through next year. Mm, so many memories. Love the way the bubbles tickle the tongue so delicately, just like the taste is delicate as well. You're definitely gonna get that apple taste. A lot of Proseccos literally taste to me like Allen's apple juice carbonated. Maybe not as sweet, but that's what it's giving. You do get a little bit of a sour peach, but it's nothing crazy. It's nothing like, oh, juicy peach. It's just very faint, very light, very delicate. Now, personally me, I would never order Prosecco at dinner. It'd be something I'd have as a dessert after or with dessert after. But if you were to have this while you were eating, I'd say meat or fish. Those are the dishes that would pair really well with this. Or if you're having a charcuterie board. So this is either for me, basically for me, Prosecco is the before or after or no food involved type of drink. I'm not gonna have this with a pasta, even though you could, or a pizza, even though you could. Prosecco is Italian, it definitely goes with that vibe. But for me, I prefer to have it before with charcuterie or after by itself as the dessert or with the dessert or when I'm just chilling with friends. Mm. First sip is apple. As you drink it more, the peach does come through if you're looking for it. But again, it's so faint that you may miss it. 
I would also say because of the carbonation, it makes the citrus notes that more zesty and tangy. I think if you were to let this sit for a day or get flat if you don't cover it properly, you wouldn't get it as sharp of a citrusy flavor. It's giving me more of a lime than a orange. Yeah, it's a more of a lemon lime versus an orange kind of citrus, but I like it. It's hard with sparkling whites. Like I said, the carbonation kind of throws off the taste in a good way because you get the carbonation, which makes it feel like a celebration. But at the same time, when it comes to like tasting the wine, it's like, it's not bland by no means. That's why I keep buying the same bottle. But, and I've tried many other bottles of Prosecco and I always come back to this one. It's a perfect price. It's 11%, so it's gonna get you right. It's got that really pretty quintessential, super light pale yellow color to it that just makes you feel like tis the season. This is the reason. Like I said, the smell doesn't smell like wet dog, wet stone or whatever sommeliers like to say. You can't go wrong unless someone doesn't like bubbles. They're gonna like this, which makes it such an easy gift. Whether you are a last minute shopper and you only got a few more days to go, or, you know, maybe someone's gonna come by your house unexpected. You can give them a bottle of this as a token of thank you or as a, oops, I forgot your gift, but I got a gift. That's making out with the glass. Another thing about Prosecco that I've always loved is it feels so light. So like I said, I like having this as dessert or with dessert at the end of a meal. It doesn't feel heavy. The carbonation almost feels like ginger beer. Like in the Caribbean culture, you have ginger beer to kind of settle your tummy. Prosecco is kind of like that, even though they have limoncello, which is more of a digestive. For me, having Prosecco at the end of the meal kind of just sets the tone, sets it right, and also settles your stomach. You get played with champagne. You think because you're sipping and you're like, ah, it tastes like Sprite, it's so light. No, that ish will catch up to you the next day. Place of Prosecco in my heart and in my life, why am I so dramatic, is definitely the celebratory toast kind of drink. It's not like the... I'm just gonna get this because I'm craving it. It's always been like, oh, it's a friend's birthday. Let me bring a bottle of Prosecco for her in the bag and a bottle of Prosecco to toast with. Oh, I'm celebrating someone's promotion or someone leaving a job or someone buying a house. Prosecco, it's the holidays. Prosecco, birthday, Prosecco. Oh, we gave the cake to the wrong table? Prosecco, I swear that really did happen. It was really messed up. Prosecco is just the all around problem solver. You know when you bite into a sour peach or a very crisp apple, it sucks a little bit of moisture, but not that much? That's what it's doing. It's actually causing a salivation in my mouth, which is shocking because it's not that dry. 15 grams, it's pretty sweet. And this would taste sweeter without the bubbles once it starts to lose the carbonation. Initially, when it works through your mouth and just tingles the tip of your tongue, it definitely creates a little bit of salivation. I like that, I think it's very good. It is, again, like I said, palatable with seafood, pasta, meat, fish dishes, anything you might be having this season to cheers and celebrate, it's gonna go really well with this. What more can I say about Prosecco today? Literally nothing, it's a basic bottle, but don't get it twisted. Prosecco ain't nothing to play with it. We'll catch up with you. Usually me, one tulip of this and I'm good, but that's usually because I've been sipping throughout the night and this is the finisher or the thing we toast with. That's it for this time. I wish I had more to say, but unlike a Sauvignon Blanc or a Suave, or I can never say the word, but Jaworsh Gramina, that one is my favorite. It doesn't really have complexity, but it doesn't need to because it's for the moment. Let me know what you like to drink during the holiday season. That wraps up this series for now. If you want me to come back with another wine pairing or wine recommendation, let a girl know by commenting down below. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Have a happy holiday. Love and later. I'm feeling it. <laughs>